Wait, wait, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I work in a hospital, it's okay. It's okay, I got this. Are you okay? Now, before I check you out, I should tell you something. I do work in a hospital. But I'm a porter. But I can still, I can still check you out. Don't worry. Where, where is it her? Okay. She's okay. Yes, sir. Okay. You can work that. No. Uh, so, uh, you all right, love? Yeah. No, I, I am a porter. But hello, everybody. Me too. What well, a welcome. <laughs> Most girls normally just run away from me. That's all over. God bless you. Uh, my name is John. I am a porter in a hospital. For anybody that uh, doesn't know what a porter is, I push old people around. Uh, well, when I say push old people around, I go, like, go for your fucking x-ray, you know what I mean? I put them in a wheelchair, and I go, go for your fucking x-ray. Uh, but working in a hospital does have some benefits. So I do have access to a lot of drugs. Hello, sir, yeah? And uh, one of the drugs I have access to is nitrous oxide. Does anybody know what this is more commonly known as? Correct, or straight away, sir. <laughs> oh, I knew that one, yeah. And what you guys didn't know is before the show tonight, I filled this room full of laughing gas. <laughs> Next time, two bottles. <laughs> it is a competition, I do want to win. Uh, no, but I am joking, or I didn't do that, you know. What type of comedian would drug his audience? Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> you, you meet lots of different people working in the hospital. The other day I had to bring this woman down called Joan, and Joan is 75 years old, and she was giving off about how cold the bed was. So I said as a joke to Joan, what you need in there is a man to keep you warm. Straight away, 75-year-old Joan responded, dead serious, by saying, I normally have more than one man in my bed. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think we know how Joan broke her hip, don't we? <laughs> A bit more about myself. A while ago, I joined an online dating website. Um, yeah. The first thing they made me do was take a personality test. Came back negative. <laughs> be honest with you, that's my best joke, so. <laughs> I know, but I, I never had much luck with women, so I asked my older brother for advice. He's the exact opposite of me. He's uh, really outgoing, he's really sociable. He had sex with a woman before he was 30. <laughs> Uh, he's the freak of the family, don't worry. Uh, so I said to him, what am I doing wrong? I said, John, when you bring a girl out on a date, you gotta bring her somewhere romantic, you know? Somewhere there's wine, there's music, there's candles. So I took her to Mass. <laughs> it, it did work. Uh, me, me and my current girlfriend, we were going out six months. It's, uh, it's my longest relationship by about six months. <laughs> Uh, one thing I don't have to worry about, she does take a proper precaution. She is on the pill. Ecstasy. <laughs> you like that one, sir, don't you? Yeah? yeah, he's on ten of them right now. Look at him. Uh, no, no, but it's something you guys probably know it's not me as well. I'm pretty low, flat, sad, depressing, taunt my voice. Thank you. Uh, a lot of comedians make money doing voiceover commercials. Uh, so I went to audition to do the voiceover for the L'Oreal commercial. Didn't go very well. L'Oreal! Sure, you're not that bad. <laughs> uh, so after that, I thought I'd try my hand in acting. I thought I'd get the parts like Tom Cruise and Colin Farrow get. No. <laughs> Type of parts I get are frigid office worker. <laughs> uh, Weird uncle who owns lizards. <laughs> and sexually confused hillbilly number three. <laughs> Some fans here tonight will sign DVDs after show, don't worry. <laughs> Guys, I just want to see how much time I have left. About 20 or 30 years. <laughs> Depending on my diet. Uh, you won't believe what happened one time back home. Uh, I said that. Some guy out the back shouted out, more like six months to live, mate. Jesus, you know what made it worse? He was my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to leave you this now. It's a true story. It's, it's about when it, me back in the hospital as a porter. The worst part is when I have to wake the patients up. And the other day, I had to bring this woman called Mary down for a test. And she was 95 years old. And she was fast asleep in the bed. And I was trying to wake her up. Hey, Mary, it's your time to go down for a test. It's your time to go, Mary. Come on, I'm going to go. But I wasn't being loud enough. I knew it needed to be a bit louder. But I didn't want to bother the other patients. So I pulled the curtain around. But when we did that, it made the room go a lot darker. And uh, my uniform
form of work is all black. Unless we establish the area of the voice of death. So you can imagine poor 90-year-old, 95-year-old Mary there fast asleep, and then she hears, Mary, it's your time to go. <laughs> Mary passed away soon after that. But I was clear of all charities. You guys made a lovely eyes. Make that shake your back to Adam. I hope you're okay.